All right, thank you very much, Eric. Usually when we talk about opening day, we also talk about the opening of New York Giants training camp. But the Giants are not holding training camp in Albany this year. The team is using the facility closer to their stadium, the same one they used in 2011 when they won the Super Bowl. Pat Bailey found out today that fans are not the only ones missing out on having the Giants around. We anticipate getting, getting whacked good this July. For just the second time in 17 years, Maggie Sports Bar will open their doors across the street from empty U Albany football fields. Usually occupied by the Giants, these fields won't get the use they are accustomed to this time of year, and Maggie's won't get the business they are accustomed to without the Giants. Last year they were here, it was good. This year they're not going to be here. If it goes back to two years ago, we'll lose at least 30 percent. Maggie's owners say they feel sorry for all businesses up and down Western Avenue that enjoyed a boom in July and August. One of those is the days in across the street from the U Albany entrance. A lot of the fans with repeat business, once they found us, as I said, uh, they would stay with us over and over again because of the convenience and how reasonable the prices are up here. Quadrini says for now he expects to fill the hotel with other people, possibly horse racing fans, but he's unsure how long term that will be. I guess I'm trying to be optimistic. I don't want to be a pessimist. While it was the fans who filled the days in, it was actually the players who helped fill Maggie's. The owners say those are days they will not soon forget. The best time was when uh, Flexico Barris was here and uh, Eli Manning and uh, the year that they won the Super Bowl, uh, place was always crowded. Huge, huge difference the Giants not being here. The good news is there's a glimmer of hope they will be back. When they left, the Giants said in a press release they would not rule out a return to Albany. The bad news is it's reality they and the business they bring will definitely not be here this year. Reporting in Albany, Pat Bailey, CBS 6 News.